Let us now continue our discussion of advanced patterns and advanced data structures. So here is a problem that our client wants us to solve. She is going to give us a list and once again she's not telling us if this is a list of integers and she wants us to find the number of unique items in this data. Now our friend has an immediate clarifying question. Can we assume that this list is in fact a list of integers like we have in this example because if it is a list of integers our friend knows that we can use a clever data structure called a set. Not only does our friend know this, our AI knows this and it is suggesting this answer. But let us first understand how a set works and then we can come back and look at this AI generated suggestion. So here is an example of a set in our REPL. I have data which is a list and I convert that list into a set. And let us say I label the resulting object with the variable s. Now I ask what is the type of s and it says well this is a set. Now the length of the original list data is 3 but the length of the set s is 2. Why? Well the list contains 3 items but 2 of them are equal. They have the same value. So as a set those two are not double counted, they're only counted once. So this set has two items. Another way of saying this is that the original list has two unique items. So do you see the connection with what the client was asking? Now this set S has these two items. We use the curly bracket notation just like you would have seen in your mathematics class to indicate the elements of the set. But please remember that the items in a set cannot be indexed. So for example, if you try and say, well, what is the zeroth item in this set, hoping to get the answer one, you would in fact get an error message. And it would tell you that the set object is not subscriptable, meaning you cannot use this kind of notation. And if you read the documentation about sets, it will tell you that you can do operations like checking for membership, you can check if x is in the set, you can calculate its length, you can even iterate through all the items in that set. But please remember this is an unordered collection, so the order in which you see the items in the set need not be a fixed ordering. The documentation goes on to tell us that sets do not support indexing, that's why we got this error message, and similarly they do not support slicing or any other behavior that we have seen for sequences. So sets are not sequences but we can iterate through them using a for loop as this example shows. So for each item in S we can print that item and then we will see the values 1 and 2. Here are some more operations on sets. I can initialize a set to contain zero or more items by just listing them inside curly brackets. If I have multiple items, I can just put a comma in between them, similar to lists. In this case, I'm initializing S to be a singleton set containing just the string A. Now, if I want to add more items to this, I can do so. I can say s.add. In this case, I'm adding a 2. So similar to lists, sets are mutable and they can be heterogeneous. They can contain items of different types. If I now ask what does s contain, it says it contains both the integer 2 as well as the string a. Notice that sets are unordered, so there's no guarantee about the order in which items appear. They need not correspond to the order in which you added the items to the set. Now here I try to add a list to this set and I get an error message. It says I cannot add this unhashable type list. Now again this is a technical term and we would have to read the documentation. It tells us that Python's immutable built-in types are hashable. So immutable types like integers and strings 
can be added to a set. So containers such as lists or dictionaries are not and immutable containers like tuples and frozen sets are only hashable if all the items in the, those elements are hashable. So this is an example of how detailed the technical documentation can be. For now, let us just remember that we can add items to a set, but only items such as integers, strings, floats and tuples. We cannot add items like lists and sets to sets. Those are not permitted. You will get this kind of error message.